Can you tell me more about stopping thoughts as a method of self-remembering? No, I cannot. The reason I can't tell you about stopping thoughts as a method of self-remembering is because I don't use stopping thoughts as a method of self-remembering. I generally remember myself and then stop thoughts. I don't stop thoughts unless I remember myself first. Thoughts just run me. They run me. I'm an intellectual. I, my, my center of gravity is, I share my center of gravity with my emotional intellectual parts. If I happen to be lopsided in the intellectual part, the thoughts run me. So I have to remember myself first before I can remember even to stop thoughts. I have to remember my work aim. I have to remember that I'm supposed to be being aware here. I'm supposed to be being alert. I'm supposed to be mentally awake. That's my goal. And every once in a while I realize that I've been mentally awake for ages. <laughs> well, how long? I don't even want to think about it. It's like when we're meditating and you're supposed to be doing one thing and you find yourself doing something else and you think, when was the last time I did that? Where was I? What was I, what was, where, exactly what spot was I on when I was paying attention? And how long ago was that? Exactly. And, and you don't know. I, I have no idea because time has nothing. Your eyes are closed. You're meditating. What is time? Time is like, time is the passage of events. What are the events? Well, the events are this pain, that itch, this thought, this feeling, this whatever. You know, or the, this, hey, wait, wait, so you wake up somewhere, literally, you wake up somewhere, and you think, where was I, what was I doing? You know you're meditating, you know you're doing that, and it used to be very discouraging. You remember when it was discouraging? It used to be so discouraging, it's like, oh, what kind of a mind do I have? An insane mind, obviously. Now, it's like, well, that's what I did this time. I wonder what will happen now. And as I bring myself back to what I'm supposed to be doing, I wonder how long I'll be able to... Well, it doesn't matter how long I'll be able to do it. All that matters is that I do it right now. All that matters is that this moment is this moment. And here I am. Here I sit. And this is what I'm doing. And then a little bit later, we find ourselves off somewhere else. And we bring ourselves back yet again. Yet again. And we learn equanimity and patience through this. We learn patience with ourselves because we have a mind that we cannot control. We have a mind that's out of control. We have a body that's out of control. They have minds of their own. Of their own. They just do what they want to do or whatever they do. I don't even think they do what they want to do. They just do what they're programmed to do or what something makes them do. And we don't even know what that something is most of the time. Some external thing. Who knows? An ant crawls on you. And your whole life is about this ant crawling on you. It's like when you think about that, it's pretty insane. And yet, that's pretty much what runs our lives. So, stopping thoughts as a method of self-remembering, eh, I think you'd be better off remembering yourself. And using stopping thoughts as a, as a method of gathering energy. I think stopping thoughts is a good method of gathering energy. You're going to have to remember yourself before you remember to stop your thoughts. It's just my personal opinion. If I'm wrong, I'm sure that the, the foundation will come and take my license away.